Royso e Camry, and that is Welcome to Wales in Welsh. We are here in Glenneath. We are going to see January Reese from Britain's Got More Talent. <laughs> okay, we've just arrived at January Reese's house. Um, we shall see if she's in. Are you there, January? Yes, I am here. Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> I'll make you all one. Did you get to meet Aunt and Dick? Oh, yes, I met Aunt and Dick. I had an interview with them. Awesome, awesome boys. Lovely and short. Shortest little man I've ever met in my entire life. But um, lovely, yeah, I met them. It was lush. How, how has your life changed since you've been on Britain's Got Talent? Oh, it's been amazing. They've been coming on to me since they've been on the tally. In the co-op, down the bank today. Every, and the kids are asking for my autograph. Gange, it was a massive shock. I, I, I was really overwhelmed by it. And not only that, you want to see the hits I've had on Facebook. January Reese, Facebook. January Reese at Hotmail. Be my fan. How do you feel about Simon Cowell? Oh, God, I'm in love with him. I'm in love. I am... The man I've got an aura about him. I, I walked on that stage, Ganj, and it was like nobody else was in that room. And I just looked and I, I thought, oh my God, he's lush. Oh, you hear him? You hear him? My little precious. Coca Pop man. Coca Pop's the youngest one. Cocaine, the oldest one. <laughs> <laughs> little sounds they are. Anyway, what do you think about his teeth? Uh, they 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 medically brilliant. I think every dentist in the country looks at them and thinks that's what we got to achieve. If I had the money, I'd have teeth like that. And what do you think about uh, Amanda Holden? I think she's she's she is nice, but I think she's had a lot of Botox. I think she's she's nice enough, you know. She's all right, but you can see she's had a lot of surgery and stuff. You know, you wouldn't know like if she was being strangled, her face wouldn't change. I don't think she liked me. I think she was jealous, to be honest with you, Ganj, because uh, Piers and Simon was taking my attention. And what about uh, Piers Morgan? I liked him. He's lovely. But I told him, see, I said, put me through piano checks and pint of lager with me and Mutha, you love. And I think that's what swayed the vote if, in. Uh, you eventually, if you do actually win Britain's Got Talent, um, how, how, how would you approach the Queen? Oh, I, I've thought about that, Ganj, so many times, the Queen, because the only time I've ever seen the Queen is on stamps. So I wouldn't know whether to bow curtsy or lick the back of a bloody head. But, uh, oh, wouldn't it be exciting? I'd love it. I'd love it. What what um what do the first thing you'd say? What would spring to your mind? Say Shamai, all right, how are you? Lovely to meet you and did you enjoy me? Perhaps she'd want a private party around the palace. Ur and Anne and some of the girls. Have have you worked there before? Yeah, I have been up there. I've done all the soldiers up in the palace. All of them I stayed at the barracks illegally. <laughs> But it was great. They all know me, all the Welsh guards. They know me. They love me. They love me. What is the next round now that you're going good to go through? Do you go to London or something? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going up to London. They pay him for it all. They put me up in an hotel. All expenses paid. So all the finalists now, we're going up to London. And then we're all meeting up again then with Simon Cowell, Amanda and Piers. And then we'll know whether we'll go then into the finals. Are you very excited about this? I'm absolutely thrilled. I think for me, a comedian to get this far is awesome. I, I couldn't imagine getting this far. I couldn't imagine getting through the first rounds, to be honest with you, because I had to keep it clean. You know, when I'm a, I'm a Valley club girl and I, you know, I go around the club, so it, it was difficult to, to a point to keep it for a family audience. But I did have five clean jokes, which I portrayed very well, I thought. But you, would you prefer to, um, let's just say... Say different words, maybe. Yes. You know, like... I use a lot of... I, I think a lot of jokes should have a... In them. It makes them funny. Some jokes are just not funny without the... Word. Is there any other words that you maybe use that maybe are very uh, sensitive? Big, big time, yeah. The biggest word I use is... You know, to a lot of men, like to shout, you... 
the roof is on fire. Yes, I said, like you've been to many a rave of now. The roof, the roof. It's been a long time since my clit was on fire, let me tell you. What is the, um, uh, what is the least amount of people that uh, you have, um, uh, you performed uh, in front of? Oh, uh, two bar staff. Two bar staff. There was nobody in the audience at all. Uh, it was it was great though. I used it as practice, can't you? you know you you and the girls. Well, they wasn't taking much notice either, but they carried on washing glasses. Wait, was the pub open? Yes, it was open. It was wide open, and nobody came in. And regarding uh, the most amount of people that you have performed uh, in front of? Oh, up to about three three thousand people, four thousand people. So, say, where can you say, um, in five years' time, uh, where can you put yourself, uh, what sort of position uh, can you see yourself being in five years' time? Oh, I, uh, well, to be honest, though, I'm praying that it's going to start it in theatres. I'm going to find myself a manager, I think. I'm going to have to look out for a manager. This is what I need. Somebody who can book these theatres and sell me, because uh, they'll sell out. Sell out. But for now... This is January Rees, and this was Britain's Got Talent. Yay! Lovely. Thank you, Ganjo. Cracking interview. Awesome. Thank you very much indeed for interviewing me. Thank you very much. Is that, uh, is that cut now? Well, how was that okay. anyway? Oh, do, you, do you think that went all right? I think so. I think you asked uh, the right <laughs> questions. You ran. But your moustache is coming off. Oh, my goatee. Hey, your goatee. My goatee has fallen off. Yeah. I get that a lot. Is it? <laughs> yes, I have lots of bits falling off myself. Oh, do you... Oh. I've been to see the doctor and I do not know what to do or about it. Oranges, I think. Oranges, you need vitamin C. I know that song. Oranges and lemons and the bells of St. Clement. Oh, yes, yes. I was brought up in Spain, I know that. <laughs> it's a lovely song. Yes? Yes. You learned that in school? Yes. I yes. learned it in secondary school. Was it a brilliant? Brilliant. You must have been very advanced. Okay. Okay. We are live now with January Reese from Britain's Got Talent. How was the show, January? Oh, the. Mark! Oh, no. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I called him Mark. Sorry. Go on. Sorry. Ganjo. Right, right. Ready? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. We are live now. We're <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, he's brilliant. My mother's looking there. She's thinking he is cracker. She's like, oh. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. 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 We are live now with January release. Ready? Okay. We are live now with January release from Britain's Got Talent. January. How was the show? The show was fantastic. Uh, oh, is that in shot? Yeah. Sorry. And dry got all my fluff stuck in my lip gloss. Uh, is my muff in your face? Your muff's been in my face. It's your muff's on my lips. You better not put you better not <laughs> put your muff on my face. <laughs> it's not as hairy as that muff, let me tell you. You won't have that many hairs stuck on your lips. Do you use black and decker? <laughs> <laughs> glue. Wood glue. I use black and decker. <laughs> We do not need brawn. <laughs> ah. The people who have been working on this, uh, this is John, our cameraman. Right. This is January. Hiya. This is Ken. Hiya. And this is January's mother. Look, what's in there? What's in there? Where's Nicky there? Where's Nicky? Tell him who like Coca-Pops. Hey, hey, hey.